Callahan and the Disc Golf Kid here. We are out at Winthrop University, hole one, 249 feet. Kind of a flex flick. I'm gonna throw a Raptor. Let's see what we can do. All right guys, hole two, par four, 629 feet. Everything on the road and left is out of bounds and then there's a little OB patch running along the fence. It's only like three or four feet wide but if you manage to catch that, you're out of bounds as well. Mozzarella sticks way down by the pin to make the putt a little harder. So I'm gonna try and throw the zoos here because way low ceiling off the tee. So try and just pump it out there pretty far. Alright guys, hole three, our very next hole. I'm doing the setup here because there's people on the tee box. Is I think 369 feet straight down the hill with hazard all on the left and woods all on the right. So anything in the middle there is fine. Par is good. Mm -hmm. All right, hole four, par four, 444. Huge dog leg right. The basket is actually probably right there. But you wanna hit this narrow low ceiling gap. Anything straight out there is fine. And then you'll have like a forehand skip approach into the green. That worked out somehow. What do you think? Uh, definitely not a cut roller. So what do you Backhand think? roller or flick, whatever you want. Easy four. Now I am. Good? Yep. All right, guys, hole five, pretty much the signature hole here. 1,025 feet, water all down the left, pretty beautiful. And then basically an island green because the Mando makes you go over the water. Um, par here is really good. I'm going for par. Anything better than that is a bony. I'm gonna throw my really understable Zeus. Try and keep it away from the water.
That was horrible, but it's inbounds, so it's good. Whenever you are. All right, guys, kind of forgot to say something last shot, but I'm lying three, trying to get up and down for par from around 320. My drive was a little pinched off, so I kind of had to pitch out a forehand and then lay up. So best case scenario right now is par. Hole six, par three, 371, OB, all down the left side and the right side actually, but the left is water, so it's a little scarier. Goes to a beach green, all sand obviously, beach. So kind of catches discs easily. If you hit the sand, you'll probably stay in bounds, unless you hit a brick. That was a great run. All right guys, hole seven, par three, 284 feet. Obviously known as the bamboo hole. Triple mandatory through all the bamboo. Par is good. It's kind of a birdie or a bogey though. So let's see what I can do. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, get it up. After I just said it's a birdie or a bogey, I'm about to par it. Just took a par on seven, by the way. Hole eight, par four, 697. OB up there, kinda, it kinda cuts out and anything over the fence is OB. And then you get to the hillside green with all the mozzarella sticks that make it really tricky to make a putt on. Um, the approach is probably the hardest part of the hole. So I'm just gonna try and put a hyzer out there to where I have any look at getting par or birdie. Best. Should I wait for this fun? Perfect. Yep. All right, hole nine, par four, just part hole eight, 592. They kind of changed it up. It used to be like the bean hole. Now it's just long and straight to an island green. So I'm just gonna try and keep a putter in the middle and then hopefully have a bird. If I stand back.
All right, guys, hold 10, par four, 549. You can go for it, and it's only like 470 to clear, I think. Or you can play the layup route, which is what I'm gonna do, and try and get your easy birdie, which it plays 549 if you do the layup. Right to left, yeah. Easy par. All right guys, just parred the last one, got a really nice save. Hole 11, par four, 734, one of the harder holes on the course. Hazard all down the left, right. So many different places you can take a penalty stroke. I'm gonna try and rip a roller, kind of right down the middle here, and let it hopefully just do its thing and end up in the middle down there with a look for my birdie, hopefully. My dad said he turned the camera off, but it rolled all the way from up there, down the middle, inbounds the whole way, and then fell left, out of bounds, well, in the hazard. So I got 200 feet left to try and save par now. All right, managed to save the par, but that was stupid. I wish it was on video, because that was one of the best rollers I've thrown in my life. But hole 12, par four, 901 feet, all the way down this hill, huge fairway with hazard on left and right. And then the green is kind of surrounded by hazard way back in there behind the trees. Plays really anything out there far, and then should have like a hyzer look for birdie. I'm good. Thought it was going Am I good? Hmm. Oh, that was. Dude, come on.
All right, just took a stupid bogey on the last hole. Now in hole 13, par five, 999 feet. I believe it is at the A position. Um, I think I'm plus five now, right? So I need I need some birdies. Um, the cut is looking like one under, so kind of got a birdie out here. Let's see what we can do. You good? Yep. Literally the only thing you can't do, just not put any. All right, you ready? Yep. Or throw it high into the branch, go open. 10 bounds somehow. Good? Mm hmm Not the curb. Thank Jesus. Holy cow, I thought I... All right, guys, hole 14, 413, par three. The play, well, there's hazard. Sidewalk and beyond, except the little cutout of the green, is all hazard. The play is a big sidearm over the bales or any straight backhand through here. Really big power guys are taking this huge hyzer. I'm just gonna go straight at it and see if we can keep this one in bounds. Good. Yep. Why hyzer? Low. Bullet. Why a bullet, dude? All right guys, hole 15, par four, triple mando, triple mando hole, 539 feet, goes like through this tunnel and then like directly left. The green is actually right there. You can see I'm putting on it. Oof. Yep. Think so. Skip in. Thought it was gonna skip farther than that. Right, guys just take a stupid bogey on the last hole we're on hole 16 par 3 391 hazard wraps all the way from the left back around and up the right here so the play is big forehand roller or straight up the middle i'm gonna try roller because my backhand hasn't been wonderful right now
we have made it to the very treacherous hole 17. It's at the A position, so 249 feet. Um, you re-tee up to three times, or up to two extra times, and then if you don't get it advanced to the island, um, hopefully we can put it in one. I'm gonna try and just flick something out there, let it crack back in. Alrighty, very unfortunate hole on the last one, but we have reached hole 18, par 4, 647 feet. Huge up there, up the giant hill, OB on the left and right, and then it goes to a really elevated basket on a ginormous hillside. So, probably, I think it's one of the hardest holes on the course. It's like top three or four hardest on the course. how you practice getting your putts higher. These all day. Okay. Well that was that was supposed to be the cue to do the outro. But <laughs> well thanks guys for watching. Um we had a lot of fun out here. Beautiful course obviously if you ever have a chance to come down here and play it while all the ropes are up, definitely do it. But as always, if you're new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.